Jeremy Tusmer with SGTV. For his first solo exhibition, Zach Paul has delivered. 23 paintings and constructions lead you on an incredible journey through a year of Zach's investigations into architecture, graphic design, art history, and critical theory. Zach was born in Buenos Aires, a city with a rich constructivist tradition that dates back to the 40s. Constructivism is a bold, clean, mechanical, geometric style that grew up in Russia in the teens before the pull of its dynamic geometry developed regional styles across the world. In 2010, the gallery mounted Geometric Abstraction, Recurring Patterns in American Art. Zach Paul's work was featured alongside work by Hassel Smith, Ilya Bolotowski, Emil Bistrom, and others but he was perhaps most excited to show with one of California's last living hard-edged painters from the 60s, Carl Benjamin. Since that show, he has been hard at work at his studio outside of Santa Barbara. The texture of brush and the action of Zach's hand can be found in works that are formed as much by intuition as by a plan. Each new work begets another. He selects his colors carefully for their relationship to each other and to the natural world. And then, he creates a marvelously complex painting, so exactingly painted that it's hard to see the human hand at work. From that, a three-dimensional construction emerges. Zach takes the three-dimensional world and flattens it, before making it three-dimensional again. He turns ideas inside out. How do we form an understanding of space? How does the creative process work? Why are we attracted to highly finished products sometimes and very rough handmade ones at other times? In this world of ours, what is made by systemic process and what is random? At long last, how quickly are the most rigorously considered systems and plots changed by forces as random and uncontrollable as natural light, or memory, or human emotion? Zach's new work asks a lot of deep questions, but it also offers a vision that is breezy, graphic, and very, very cool. Zach Paul, Inside Out, will be on view through April 1st. Come see it.